Hey Geneva, a lot has changed in almost a year since our last film fest. A global pandemic, online school, the most chill presidential transition in history. Too many online shopping orders, murder hornets are a thing. We've improved our hobbies, Tom Brady got another ring, and our saving grace, TikTok. And we haven't seen our professor's faces in like 11 months. So we turn to our films and TV to fill our void of human interaction. Sometimes I even confuse the two. I know how disorienting it is to forget what our professors even look like. So I was able to get some pictures of some of our amazing faculty without masks, just as a reminder. They've changed so much. Here's Paul Petit, professor in computer science and cybersecurity, first in February 2020, now in February 2021. And of course, our beloved Stephanie Schindel. She's not just a great teacher, but has one of the best hearts on campus as well. Let's not forget lovable Terry Thomas. If there's one thing we know about Terry, it's that he never changes. Dr. Jeff Cole, better known as J. Cole, as the director of Crossroads and teacher of a class on genocide, I'm sure he has zero opinions of all that happened in the world in 2021. Murphy Gerber, professor of business and one of the best supporters of athletes on campus. And the wise Doug Bradbury, aging like fine wine. We couldn't find a picture from Brad's youth. Naturally. And of course, no one has had more stress on him in 2020 as our President Trout. But somehow, he came into 2021 looking better than ever. A lot has changed in a year. Here's just seeing their faces again soon. But for real, this year has asked a lot of us. What are we made of? Geneva, whether you're watching films, going to class, or just hanging with your friends, remember. We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole year in quarantine for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy if you think we won't make it to the end of this year. You see us as you want to see us, in simplest terms, in the most convenient definitions. But what we have found out is that each one of us is a brain, an athlete, and a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Whatever. Just roll the film. Hey guys, can you pause that for a second? Oh, hon, hang on one second. I'm about to beat him again. Not, you suck at video games. I, I have to take oh, a video. Oh, hon, son, what? stop. I, oh, you know I'm better than I you. I want to take it because you're going to college, Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to college? Oh. Mom, you know this already. It's for Aunt Maddie. Aunt Maddie doesn't know this I'm yet. I'm going to Geneva College, Aunt Maddie. What are you studying at Geneva College? Women. Fletcher. I'm studying film. I'm studying film at Geneva College. And here we have Fletcher packing all of his things for college. Are you excited, Fletch? Tomorrow's the big day. Mom, I already, Mom, I already packed all my blankets. Mom, it's it's summertime. It's like 80 degrees outside. Mom, I packed all of my blankets already. But how many blankets did you pack? I seriously. I packed like. Fletcher, respect your mother. What's up, Instagram? It's time to meet my roommate, Jalen. Say hi to the internet, Jalen. What's up, internet? Yeah, that's right. We love each other. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my name is Fletcher Long, and I'm really, really excited because uh, I'm a freshman here at Geneva College, and I am a film student. And um, so I got my I got my first um, I got my first assignment today, and I need to make a week long documentary of my life, which I think is personally kind of boring, but what are you going to do? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my camera, put it up in the corner of my room and just capture, you know, whatever, whatever stuff that uh, I do, my, what my roommate and I do. And I'm just going to, I'll put it all together. I'll edit it later, but uh, I'm really excited. I think that I am definitely going to go places. So Quentin Tarantino, watch out.
Hey, hey, Jalen, come here. What is it? Take a look at this. All right. Wait. Watch the cereal box. Yo, what the? Is that creepy? <laughs> Bro, I just got like the shivers. Yeah, That's dude. Messed up. What the heck is that? I don't know, man. Fletcher. What, what? Your light's on. I didn't turn it on. Oh, turn it off. Fine. Okay. Oh, my God. What's up, Jay? Jalen, you see that man? Jalen, I'm trying to sleep. Jalen? So I just got finished uh, talking to Jalen on the phone, and he just left in the middle of the night. Apparently, he just got up and left, and he's not coming back. I asked him why. I said, Jalen, what's going on? Like, because I can't... What in the world could possibly make him leave? And he said the weird stuff has been going on in the room. Like, supernatural stuff. <laughs> and he told me to check the video footage. I thought, all right. And so I, I, I tried to check it, and this is what we get. It's corrupted. It's corrupted! And... I mean, stuff has been happening, like windows have been closing and drawers have been opening, but you don't leave college for that. <sighs> I mean, I guess I can talk to people about it and see if they can give me any information. So I just got back from the Res Life office, and things were going all right at first. 
um, I explained my situation, and at first they were very understanding. Up until I mentioned which room I was in, and then they got quiet. And then they told me I was imagining things. And they, they politely asked me to leave their office. So I guess I'm on my own now. So I think um, next stop I'm going to go to the library and see if the archives have anything to say about this. I went into the library. I did a little bit of digging. I tried to see what I, I, I tried to find anything that I could that I could get my hands on. You know, records, um, journals, um, anything. Like, and I I didn't find a single thing. Um, so I figured I have a friend in admissions. Um, she can probably get she can probably get access to housing records and stuff. And so it took a little bit of money. She bled me dry, but I was able to get something. I found out that the people who have lived in my room for the past 20 years have all dropped out before fall semester ended. I am this close. I am this close to figuring things out. I am not dropping out. So uh, it's, it's definitely getting worse. I didn't sleep at all last night. But there's good news, I guess. Um, Jalen's, Jalen's coming back in a couple hours to get his stuff. Oh, but I'm so, so tired. I think I'm going to try and get some sleep before he gets here. All right, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Long. Mr. and Mrs. Long, yes. uh, why'd you come into the police well, office well, our today? Son. Our son has gone missing, and we need to file a missing person report. We're, I'm super worried. Now, uh, what's his name? Fletcher Long. Fletcher Long. Mm -hmm. He's okay. our son, yes. And when's the last time you saw him? Well, well, we took him off to college, and we call him every Sunday, and, and he hasn't. He didn't answer this past Sunday, and we... We, we tried calling him several times, and he's not answering. I tried calling the college, and the college right. said he's not in his room. All right. Please describe Fletcher to me. Fletcher, um, he's 5'9", right? 5'9". Yeah, nine. Five, nine. Um, he has brown hair. He has brown facial hair as well. Um, cute, cute kid. Uh, do you have any ideas of where he might be? Um, no, I mean, just, just We really have no, nothing. We really have nothing to go off of. Welcome back, guys, to Jess and Felix in the morning. 
Well, America, welcome back. It's been a strange year this year. The strangest. No, I just said that, right? Okay, well, we're gonna get into why it's strange. It's part of the bit. But anyways, more important matters, top five news. And this is the news. You know, Felix, most Americans miss the real headlines of 2020, getting caught up in pandemics and world domination and, you know, things like that. Mm. Yeah, I think we should go over the really important things that happened this That's year. True. Yeah. Start with important. number number one. Couples get married in world's first KFC. The theme wedding, wedding. Yeah. The wedding had personalized KFC buckets as well as a mashed potato iced KFC themed wedding cake um, and a famous KFC food truck. <clears throat> the couple's guests were Make loving it. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Number four, Adolf Hitler wins election in Namibia. <laughs> Namib Namibia. That's not right. Well, anyways. The man with the unfortunate name of Adolf Hitler um, did win an election, but he promised no world domination. Well, number three, Trump's in impenetrable wall blown over by winds. Yeah, that's awkward. Uh, moving on. Number two, Subway bread is not bread. Irish court rules. Wow. That's not for the No, uh, it's always been one of my greatest fears that one day I just wake up as a piece of bread. Have you ever eaten yourself? Thought about eating yourself? I know I would. That's how I'll die. Yeah. Well. Anyways. And number one, man blows up his house trying to swat a fly. Rest in peace, Uncle Bob. Yeah. What do you think the, the guy swat him with? Like a shoe? A cup? I don't know. I, I don't never swat anything with a cup. Let's go with the shoe. Let's give him his dignity. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. And now we go to Stevie Spadinelli for the weather. Until next time, it's been Justin Felix in the morning. neighbors. <sighs> I wasn't expecting many treasures today, but you'll fit in my collection quite nicely. Well, hi guys. I wasn't expecting to see you here. But oh, and hey, howdy neighbor. Uh, it's it's been a while since I had any neighbors, and uh, you know what the what the big books say. You oughta, you oughta look, you oughta love your neighbor. So for today's episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some love. I'm gonna give you a tour of my greatest uh, treasure ever. It is my collection. See, I got all these goodies here, and the, and 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 I'm just I want to show you some of these. I think we'll start off with this one. It's a pretty good one. All right, it's a classic. Here we go. All right. Here. Oh, what's up guys? How's it going? So, uh, I'm just back here with another vlog, you know. Um, as we all know, it's New Year's today. The start of 2020. What a beautiful time. Uh, I don't know, I, I really didn't know if we would make it through 2019. I mean, it kind of sucked at times, like, it really was hard. But, uh, you know, things are looking bright, and, uh, we're excited for 2020, so, and I've started off really good. I've only failed like two of my New Year's resolutions, so we'll see. I'm, I'm going strong with a few of them, but only failed a few of them yet, so. And if you guys have any New Year's resolutions, I'd love you put them down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video. See ya. What's up, dudes? What's up, fam? How's it going? We're back here with another vlog, you know. We just got back to school, um, 2020, 
has been weird, okay? You know, this year is, this year is getting crazy. First we had the uh, Australian fires, then we had World War III scares. Now there's this flu in China, flu 2.0. They're calling the coronavirus and it's getting a little weird there. Uh, I'm pretty sure, from what I see, this has definitely been like one of the worst years in American history. So uh, uh, I don't think it really can get much worse than this, but we'll see. All right, guys, well, that's all for now. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to the fam and click that little bell for the notification so when you see a new video come out you'll get a little notification and you can like that one and subscribe and all that stuff so I'll see you guys later see you in the next one peace out welcome back to the vlog fam uh, we just got sent home so uh, now we're just hanging out we have to wear these dangly things all the time now Right, mister? Right. Oh! <laughs> you know, we're uh, socially distancing and following all the rules. <sighs> oh, gosh. <sighs> so, uh, this is what you call distance learning. You do your homework from home. Uh, so, yeah, they just made us do this for the rest of the semester. Um, honestly, we're very bored. Mostly just playing video games and... Uh, sitting around it's kind of fun it's a little restful you know i could get used to this little short two-week vacation so i'll catch you guys in the next one uh i'll let you know when we get out we get back doing things normal should be like two or three weeks but uh yeah so i'll catch you guys later bye i got the coronavirus COVID 19. <sighs> It's really bad. <coughs> uh, I'll post video next time I <coughs> I'm better. And uh, hit the like button, <coughs> subscribe, uh, or don't. <coughs> uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. That's better. As I was saying, I think next we're gonna go with something else that's really good. All right. Here we go. This one's nice and colorful. Uh -huh. Welcome back everyone. When we left off, we started to discuss how we might go about settling the shortages of necessities. Chelsea, how about you give us a little recap? I'd be happy to. So due to all of the craziness and panic going on right now, everyone is going straight into apocalypse mode and buying up all the toilet paper and food and such. Now personally, I feel people just watch too much TV, like The Walking Dead and such, with all this crazy stuff, but it is interesting that people are buying more toilet paper than food. I guess in the movies they were never really finding much toilet paper, but there's always enough food. But anyways, that's where we're at. That is something to chew on, because I personally don't want to find out what will happen when I run out of toilet paper, but I'm sure it will all pass soon enough anyway, once everyone becomes used to the new normal. As long as the stores can keep up with it. Some people are panicking to the point of breaking into suppliers to get their toilet paper. This whole thing is crazy, but I don't know guys, I'm thinking this new normal hasn't happened yet. We seem to be heading down a steep slope, and we're still near the top. It's not just the people overreacting, but the people underreacting too. There are still tons of people getting this thing, and people are still 
out there swarming all the stores for prep and it's just spreading faster. The hospitals can't take this much stress. Just calm down there, big guy. Here, Mary, let me ask you a question. What do you get when you cross a panic-stricken society on the brink of an apocalypse with a global pandemic and supply shortage? I'll tell you what you get. You get what you deserve. This. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to find out. I don't know, but I think it would have found us by now, guys. You want to go check? Yeah, sure. Let's give it a peek. All right, let's go. Careful. Ah! Let's go, 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 go. Now this next one. This one's. This one's my favorite. It brings back some good old memories. You're okay. You're gonna like it. All right, Rogue Three, it's a simple mission. Get in, gather intelligence, and get out. We'll be able to teleport you in right here, but it's a one-way trip. So when you're ready, the extraction point will be right here, and we'll bring you out. Keep in mind, your cybernetics will be recording everything you see, so the more that you see, the better. This intel is crucial, to restore the democracy that we once loved. We will no longer be divided, and we will all live under compromise and equality. This is a dangerous mission, and I must emphasize, do not get caught. Good luck. Here is my gift to you. Do with him as you wish. I have plans for you, rebels. You rebels have been a thorn in my side. But we all know how democracy ends. With a thunderous applause. And where is your applause, hmm? That's what I thought. Silence. The silent few have never had influence of the many, and the sheep won't start to listen now. Take them away! <laughs> when he regains consciousness, double the voltage. He has been implanted with the proper knowledge to abide by the code. However, his responses to our orders have been unsuccessful. He shows a remarkable resilience. He is unusual, untypical. Few have such will. Our other test subjects have been far more successful. Curtis! Oh. Oh. 
Yo, welcome to the Justin Felix morning, 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 morning show. Hey, so break it down. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go. Jump in, Felix. This is you. I have nothing else to say now. And then I break it down, just And we're back to Justin Felix in the morning. Yeah, guys. We've talked about this. It's five in the morning. You, you've got to stop. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Come. Hello. Would you be interested in being involved in... Involved? I love to get involved! Which is an extension to the chapel experience. All we're looking for are some brave volunteers to live out the gold chapel in a way it's never done before. Alright, so I... Alright, guys. Let's go to the library. I guess I should watch that chapel message I missed while I have a minute. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to ask you, as I usually do, to get off the grid. Uh, to make sure that your cell phone and your other digital devices are off and silent and out of a place where they can distract you. So we can have just a few moments together. I have a word for you, but we need to do it off the grid. Well, in that case, that's enough technology for now. May as well get some sheets while I follow his policies. I guess I'll just grab the usual app sampler with mac and cheese bites, mac and cheese bites, and uh, mac and cheese bites. Hey. Hey. You heading to Sheets? Well, yeah, actually I am. You want to ride? Well, I mean, it's not much further down, so it's not that big of a deal. It's really no trouble. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. As nice as this is, I should wash my figure. I'll have to burn my calories by walking or running or I'll find something else. Oh, oh. Mac and cheese bites must have been a little extra greasy last night. Wait a minute. I never did get the sheets last night. Wait, why am I here? I guess I better check my messages to fill out my health screening for the day. Can't afford to take away my sheets addiction. Let's see. Well, here's the Bible. That's always important. Um, healthy snacks. Are you trying to kill me? Water bottle. Ah, oh, there's my phone. That um, so much for that. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, something useful. Excellent. Guess it's time to find my way home. Shouldn't be too far from here, right? So, I guess this is like Minecraft, huh? huh. A lot of woods. Woods. I don't see any creatures yet. Maybe there'll be some oh, spiders! Ah! Well, first thing you gotta do is build a crafting table, so see how this goes. Ugh, never mind. It's getting dark soon, so I guess I better start getting some firewood. Well, this 
is how the movies do it, so it must be right. Oh well. Guess one positive thing about being alone is not having to hear about anyone snoring. These aren't too bad. The M&M's at least are good. My eternal compass, on the other hand, is telling me to go this way. That's a nice tree. It's time for a drink break. What a day, what a day. My internal compass is still on point. I'll be there in no time. All right. Whoa. Well, maybe that quite wasn't it. Oh well, I'll, I'll go this way instead. Three hours into the trek. I'm almost back home. Whoops. Guess I gotta stay hydrated. Whoa! Oh, no! This stuff's actually pretty good. Guess you enjoy anything that's free, or has cheese on it. There we go. That ought to do it. One more will get me home. Perfect, that'll do it. Last one, oh, okay. I guess someone will eventually notice I'm gone. Hey guys, have you seen John? I've been trying to get a hold of him to talk about an assignment. I don't know. I haven't seen him since dinner on Tuesday. Who even cares? He's a commuter. According to my deductions, everything is going right on schedule. Subject 1 should be in phase 2 right about now. <laughs> food! Finally, food! Food this good since I've been to.
for everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with gratitude. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. When I look at your heavens, the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? I guess Dr. Trout does have a point. If I ignore God's creation by being distracted by technology, I may miss out on some blessings from him. Maybe I should spend more time thinking about this. It's been so long since I've seen anyone. I'm at the end of my rope. Please, God, I'm finally ready to get off the grid. Hi, Paul. Hey. So the experiment's been successful? Yeah. Great, bring him in. Bring him in. Yeah, it's time. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, I'll bring him home. I need to come on. Get off the grid, Geneva. Guess who's back from Miami? Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. I'm the bear. As you can see, I'm back for Film Fest and shooting pretty good. They didn't have these in Miami. Okay. <laughs> this building is almost as old as that Nykirk guy. <laughs> Boom! Toasted! Or is it roasted? Speaking of toasted and roasted, I'm very hungry. Music to my ears. Yo, yo, yo! Uh, who are you? I'm the bear. The bear. You know, I stormed Geneva, Kansas last year. I got it onto the little GC alerts on your phone thing. I, I really have no idea what you are, but cool, whatever. Freshman. Glass. What is this? What, is this a shield? For me? Because of me? Aren't you a little close? Oh, oh, it's because I'm a bear, isn't it? Okay, I get. Oh, fear the bear! Social distancing. Events, events, but I don't see me. Uh, is there any headlines about me? Any pictures of me? Just good to be back. Uh, it's a lot better than Grove City. I try to, uh, I try to visit them, but none of them would accept me. So, a new furry friend.
A few months ago, the earthquake started. The tremors are occurring all along western and northern Pennsylvania. We didn't normally get earthquakes, but now it's a part of normal everyday life. I'm Trey. I live a pathetic life. I live for awful horror movies. Playing guitar in public. Cookies. Fluffy towels. The smell of coffee. Naps. Warm concrete. And riding my sweet, sweet bike. So when I heard that the earthquakes could be caused by aliens, extraterrestrials, needless to say, 
I was excited. Some people blame the oil drilling. Some people blame global warming. Even some people blame the president. I first heard about the ETGT, extraterrestrial gravitational theory, from a friend of mine. I'm just totally making this up. But what if these earthquakes were aliens, as in these extraterrestrials were experimenting with Earth's core in order to figure out if it's safe for them to come to Earth? Those aliens, just to go through such lengths, just to visit, they would have to be nice, right? Is that sarcasm? I can't tell if that's sarcasm. Hey, do you believe in aliens? If you mean people from other countries, yes. If you mean extraterrestrials, no. Well, I'm gonna go somewhere and research. Bye. Hey, I'm a little lost. Do you perchance know the way back to town? The whole mess of ways to get from one place to another. These woods hold a lot of mysteries. Fellas from other planets, from other worlds. You mean... Extraterrestrials? Only those from beyond can rightly know such mysteries here too for you speak of to that nature. Wild YOLO Roy comes back and he says, he says something, and he's super Irish. Well, I guess you had to have been there. I'm gonna have to call you back. What is that? Proof. 
proof that there are worlds and societies beyond our own tiny insignificant planet. Soon we will understand that the earthquakes are just the first steps of these magnificent, advanced, unimaginable creatures stepping down from their great pedestal of scientific and cultural achievement that we can never dream of obtaining in our lifetimes. They will communicate and they will say, Hi, how are you doing today? I think it's probably trash. Space trash? Or an airplane part. Alien airplane part? Have you ever seen that, um, uh, Zach Braff movie? Garden State? No. Chicken Little. Nope. Never mind, have fun. probably thinks you're a pervert looking into people's houses. I am not a pervert. I am clearly looking up at the skies. If I was a pervert, I'd be looking down like this in people's houses. Oh, they're watching the human centipede down there. First of all, stop that. And second, be a little less intense about this whole alien thing. I'm not camping. What? I'm not intense. I'm tired of having an easy life. I'm tired of coasting. Why shouldn't I be intense about this? I have to find out what this mysterious device is. I mean, it could be a cinnamon roll dispenser. And then I'd be the one laughing because I'd have so many cinnamon rolls that I even grow a giant cinnamon roll ice and cream beard. Look, it's out of your control. It's all up to them if they wanna say hello how are you? You want a donut? Want some coffee? Relax. And probably drink a little less coffee. Never! It's genius juice! He's obsessed with finding alien life. What's the big deal about that? Show me your secrets! I'm just a little concerned. And I told her she better step off. You know the they and they say? Like, and how nobody really knows who they is. I figured it out. Aliens. <laughs> they visited me in a dream. Or something like that. I don't know if it was a dream. Where were you yesterday? I didn't see you anywhere. I saw you yesterday. It was Tuesday. No. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, 
So I get that you're saying that the aliens come with the earthquakes, but what's the point if all that happens is you lose the day of your they're life? Obviously, cautious fellows. They wanted to see me before they come down and say hello. Toot's gonna make legit contact now. Besides, yo. Just a helicopter. Have you ever seen that one Steven Spielberg movie? AI artificial intelligence? No. E.T. Extraterrestrial. Nope. Never mind. Have fun. Thank you all for coming so quickly. I'm sure you're wondering why you're here. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you've been exposed to the virus DVOC 91. Ryan tested positive and sent you all a bunch with him. You're all going to have to quarantine. Oh my gosh. But unfortunately, there's one problem. We don't have a permanent spot for you guys yet. So we're going to put you in the cave temporarily. It'll only be a few hours, so it's not really a big deal. If you all just follow me, we'll get you all set. I hope you're ready. Um, there's a couple things you should know. One is that there's a fridge and it has plenty of food in it for you if you guys get hungry. The second thing is, please don't kill anybody while climbing the walls, okay? So that means that we can kill each other without climbing the walls. Heck yeah! <laughs> Are there any questions? Uh, yeah. How long do you think we're going to be stuck in here? Hopefully it's only a few hours, but it could be a few days. Alright? Have fun, you guys. Great. My third time stuck in quarantine and I'm here with you weirdos. Oh, come on. We're not all that bad. Just look at John. He's perfectly normal. You call that normal? Don't you? I don't think anyone in here is normal. Except for maybe Abby and Gwen. I'm normal too. No you're not. A lot of people don't hide their roommate's stuff in the bathroom after only having known them for a couple months or lie about having pink eye and say that it's allergies. Okay, that was a stretched truth. And before I hid your stuff, you took all my clothes out of my drawers the one time I left campus and put it in the prayer closet. Okay, instead of insulting each other, how about we play a game of Mafia? I've got cards. Yeah! yeah. Alright, I'll take that as a yes. I'll be the mayor since I have the <laughs> cards. How come you get to be the mayor? What if I want to control the night phase? <laughs> that is exactly why you can't. Great, if you don't know how to play Mafia, I'm going to explain. I'll pass out a card to each person here. Look at it, but don't show anyone else. The ace is the mafia, and there are two of those. The king is the detective, and the queen is the doctor. During the night phase, I'll tell everyone to go to sleep, and then you'll go to sleep. 
I will give the Mafia, Detective, and Doctor instructions in that order one by one. Then I will wake everyone up at the end of the night phase, and I will tell you all the exciting and gruesome events of the night. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's all head into the other room where there's more space to sit down. All right. All right, let the games begin. Thus begins the first night in the town of Quarantina in the state of Pandemica. It appears to be a quiet night with only a few people coughing to disturb the peace. The townspeople are all asleep with no idea of what's to come. Everyone, go to sleep. Mafia, wake up. Who would you like to kill? Ah! What's going on? You're touching me. Well. I was unexpected. Kenny, I didn't even know it could get that dark in here. Ah, come on, Alex, get up. You're not fooling anybody. Alex? No. Ah! Oh, oh you just seen your face. <laughs> you guys really thought I was dead? Okay. Um. Yo, Lizzie, come on, get up. It's not even funny anymore. That's not good. You're telling me, Lizzie can't even keep a straight face doing Uno. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she was murdered. What? Why would you think that? Well, I doubt she's faking it. Unless she has narcolepsy, she wouldn't randomly fall asleep. So the only other logical option is that she's dead. I know. Oh, wait. So, if she's dead, then that means that somebody killed her, and that means that that somebody is one of us. What? Why are you looking at me? I didn't do it! Anyone of you could have killed her! Wait, how do we know it was somebody here? Couldn't it have been somebody else? Who? Kevin locked the door and he left. We're in quarantine, so no one else got in. We're the only suspects, guys. So, who did it? That's what I'm going to find out, because I'm Kitch Out, the detective. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Is that a threat? It is a threat. That means she's the killer. Only killers call people killers. Killer. Wait. You just called me a killer. Doesn't that make you the killer? You know what I think? I think you're both killers. Okay, but are we sure it wasn't Kat who killed Lizzie? I mean, it's just a theory, but I did hear them yelling at each other kind of often in the middle of the night. Okay, come on, you don't actually think I'd kill her? She's my best friend! So I, I don't think it was Kat, cause like, that's a little too obvious. I mean, this killer's smart. Hey! I'm just saying that I think it was you. I mean, you're the one who wanted to be the mayor first place, right? You're the one who stepped in front of me for that position, but the mayor is the one who gets to keep their eyes open the whole time, and you're the only one who got to see who killed Lizzie, so you must have been the one who did it. Actually, that is incorrect. My eyes were already open when the lights went out, so they were used to the light. Your eyes were already closed, so they were getting adjusted to the dark. Therefore, when the lights went out and you opened your eyes, you were able to see better than I was because they already adjusted. Guys, this is getting us nowhere! Maybe we should ask a criminal justice major for help. I can call Claire right now. Hey Abigail, I heard you got quarantined today. How's it going so far? Um, yeah, quarantine. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> How'd you forget you were in quarantine? Yeah, it's kind of a long story, but that's okay because I have I have a hypothetical question for you, completely hypothetical. Um, yeah, so what should someone hypothetically, you know, do um, if they hypothetically discovered a dead body in their room and, you know, <laughs> hypothetically, they thought that one of their friends killed it? Uh, call 911 for sure. Abigail, are you sure you're all right? Why does Katie look so concerned? Shh, uh, no reason, no reason, you know. Purely hypothetical situation, I'm fine, Katie's fine, everyone's fine, um, yeah, but also, um, how would someone, you know, find out 
who killed the person? You know, hypothetically. Well, you'd start to look for any clues around the crime scene and then look for suspects given the specific context of the crime. So who had an opportunity and a motive to kill? Opportunity and motive. <laughs> Sounds great. Lovely talking to you. Bye, Claire. Why would you hang up like that? Now she's going to think something's up. I, I panicked. What's done is done. Besides, now we have a new angle to analyze. Motive and context. And our context is mafia. So what I would like to know is who had the aces? Can everyone please hold up their cards? That's what I thought. Yep. You're the mafia who killed Lizzie. What do you guys say for yourself? We were framed! I've never met her before in my life! I say Katie gave us these cards on purpose to make it look like we killed her so that she could get away with it! And you're an original. I've already been accused. And besides, you could just be throwing suspicion off of yourself by blaming me. By how the turns have tabled. Okay, so next theory, who's usually the murderer in movies? The butler. We don't even have a butler. Right, I, I knew that. It's not the butler. Usually, it's quiet ones. Well, that rules out Alex. Hey! I, I'll take that as a compliment. But what I was thinking is that it was probably, I don't know, Gwen and Abby? <gasps> don't look at us. We're just as innocent as the rest of you. And that's the problem. Everyone's innocent. Wait, guys. We've been forgetting one of the most important parts of this mystery. We don't even know how Lizzie died. Good point. But unless any of us are coroners, I don't think we're going to figure that out. We don't even have any nursing majors. No, but we could. I say we call Caleb Vanderplatz and make him figure out the cause of death. After what happened with Claire, I don't think that's the best I- Okay. Hey, Caleb. Uh, quick question. How do you know when someone's dead? Who did you kill this time, George? I am offended that you think so lowly of my character. It's a hypothetical question. Hypothetical. Sure. Well. Hypothetically speaking, you would check for breathing in a pulse. Yeah, and uh, how would I hypothetically find out how this person was killed? I would assume that if, if you have to ask, it's not obvious. I need more information to give a good guess. Okay, well there's no blood, I don't think. And it looks like she's just asleep. That doesn't sound very hypothetical. Can I tell you a secret? Have you called 911? No. Have you called campus security? No. I called you instead. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Haha, <laughs> good question. Want to see the body? Wait, guys! Lizzie, she's gone! Oh guys, don't oh Where'd she go? Lizzie! Lizzie? 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 long story. Well anyways, I, I brought you guys a deck of cards. I thought you might want to play Mafia or something. Guys, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just a game. Kevin, you here. have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you change your mind, let me know. Did someone say my name? Hello, 
Is anyone still there? I'm never answering George's calls again. I can't believe that Film Fest is coming to an end. We would like to thank the filmmakers, the CSC, and Gold Spire Creative for making this all happen. Now for the moment that you have been waiting for, the award ceremony. Best Directed, Paranormal Activity. Luz, this is the wounds bathroom. He didn't even wash his hands. Best cinematography, COVID. Best produce goes to Joseph Cheney's Golden Idea. Excuse me, I'm in the wrong call. Best cast, Killer Quarantine. And the nominees for Best Cameo are Caleb Vanderplatz, Dr. Chow, Claire Piscatello, Josh and Jacqueline Etta. And the winner for Best Cameo is Caleb Vanderplatz. And the nominees for the Best Actress are Abigail Corinne, Katie Stoneback, Kat Eastep, Alexis Montgomery, and Jacqueline Echo. And the winner of the Best Actress award goes to Alexis Montgomery. And the nominees for the Best Actor are John Lowry, Chad Lewis, George Della Piazza, Kyle O'Keefe, and the golden statue. And the winner of the best actor is George Della Piazza. And the award for the best film is The Best Film. The best film is Off the Grid. Thank you and good night.